condensation sensors have been on the market for decades, particularly those that are intended to monitor for condensation formation on cold water pipes. Those that have been available historically are actually humidistats set to a high humidity threshold uh, such as 80% or 90% relative humidity, meaning that whenever the atmospheric humidity in the vicinity of the sensor rises above those two figures, or either of those two figures, uh, it will trigger a signal to the controlling computer or whatever it is, uh, indicating that condensation is happening on the surface to which it's mounting. More often than not, that's not correct. Uh, the condensation is probably not forming at that time and indeed may never form depending on which way uh, the humidity trends, the temperature trends and so forth and so on. The condenser is built on a completely different concept recently patented and has been proven very effective in all kinds of military, uh, airborne, aerospace applications uh, and the like, industrial applications as well. So here's the basic what it is. In the lower portion that you see here, this is a heat sink designed to be very thermally conductive. On the top surface of this heat sink, uh, there is a super sensitive condensate detection apparatus. Two wires run from that condensation apparatus to the upper circuit module that you see in what we call the sugar cube. The circuit module includes a programmed microprocessor which it makes the final determination as to whether its condensation is forming or is not forming. The LED that you see indicates the current status of the sensor and the surface on which it is mounted. Normally when it's powered up properly there will be a green flashing light if the surface you know, that we're mounted on uh, indicates any form of condensate formation uh, it will start flashing red. It also has a unique feature and that is the circuit module includes programming that monitors the unit itself for internal faults or a supersaturated uh, sensor which may be contaminated from construction debris or whatever. In that case when it detects that condition which we call sensor fault the LED indicator flashes red green red green red green Here you see the two different configurations of the model CG-ICM. In the foreground you see the model CG-ICM-F for flat surface mounting. In the background you see the CG-ICM-P obviously for pipe mounting. The only difference between these two configurations is the hardware that we supply in the pouch uh, to provide the mounting suitable for the choice of pipe or the choice of a flat surface. I wanted to give you an idea of what that uh, super sensitive condensate sensing area is on top of the uh, thermally conductive heat sink that I pointed out uh, just a minute ago. Um, and this is it. It's basically a gold ring of a spe special pattern um, on top of that heat sink which is uh, as I say thermally conductive material and what you see here are the two wires that uh, are connecting up to the uh, circuit module that sits on top of the white round spacer. Uh, a filter goes into this area to keep uh, uh, construction material and so forth out of the sensing area. But this is a very very sensitive area. It will detect a tiniest of mists of condensate, yet it will not respond in 100% relative humidity. It doesn't know anything at all about uh, humidity, doesn't care about it, but if there is any condensation formation that occurs over the surface that this unit is mounted to, then when that, let's say it's a pipe, our expression is that when the pipe sweats, this sweats, and that is what is detected uh, in the circuit module that sits above this uh, by virtue of the program in the microprocessor processor that re resides there.
What I have here is a small, simple demonstrator uh, and in this compartment, uh, this box, there's nothing more than a battery which supplies the operating power for the circuit module. A uh, push button switch here uh, that I can press to apply that power so we don't run the battery down uh, when we're not using it. And here is a uh, output signal which everything is quiet and nothing's happening at this point in time. So I'm going to press the power and turn it on and what you see is the microprocessor do it's a little dance in the LED and we're flashing green meaning there is no condensation formation uh, on the surface it's sitting on. But what I'm going to do is create a little fog of condensate on that sensing apparatus and show you how it responds. There you go. Flashing red briefly because until the uh, fog dissipated and if you watch the green light again, I'm going to do it again. Again, as fast as it happens, um, that quickly. The unit responded to the little bit of fog that I created on that surface. And of course, there was the output signal uh, as indicated. Let me try it one more time. There we go. Now, if I get it really fogged up, It'll last for a little bit longer because there's more condensate, but not much. But that gives you an idea of how quickly it responds to the onset of the condensation or the condensate fog that I created and how quickly it responds once the uh, uh, condensate evaporates off of the sensor. So you have the choice between a humidity-based condensation sensor, which may stop your coolant flow when the relative humidity is as low as 80% relative humidity, sometimes 90%, and which is indicating a condensation event when indeed there is none and may never be one. The alternative, of course, is the consensor, uh, which will tell you when the condensation is actually started and will do so so rapidly that the uh, there is virtually no formation of condensate on your surface of interest, in this case, the pipe. Uh, those are your two choices. And thank you for listening.